Hi guys, so you here from Blender Bros and in this video I will show you how to manage your file to drop the VRAM so you can render almost anything you want on any machine. Let's get started. So if you look at the bottom right of the screen, you can see that we got a bit of a problem. We are using 22.1 gigabytes out of 24 gigs of my 390. So if I press the render button now, the blender will crash and my PC will freeze. So, you know, I couldn't render this scene as is. To check what's your memory usage, okay, your VRAM usage, you need to go here to this bottom bar and right click on the bar and choose the video memory. And this will show you the VRAM usage you know, of your card right now, okay? So the first thing that you can do to drop your VRAM to render a heavy scene like this will be to go to 3D viewport and render then. Because if you wait a bit, you will see that my VRAM now dropped to 2.1 from 22, which is insane. It's 20 gigabytes less, right? So only by going to 3D viewport, you know, I drop insanely low on my VRAM usage. But you know, this video I'm gonna go up when you're gonna be rendering. So if I try to render this scene on a different card, I might have problems. So I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to actually lower the VRAM usage uh, during rendering. Now, if you're a Blender beginner and you would like to learn more about Blender hard surface, know that we have a fantastic jumpstart hard surface course, which is free and it teaches you all the basics that you need to know when you're starting with Blender. But also if you're an intermediate, I'm pretty sure you can pick up a few awesome tips and it will teach you about menus, about, you know, basic operations, modeling, texturing, rendering, and even post-processing your renders, which will help you to create awesome portfolio that will basically get you hired and you can start making money with Blender. So check the link in the video description. Like I said, the course is free. So first thing that you can do, and it's a bit of an annoying process, although there are add-ons that can help you with this. I tried some of them. Uh, one of them is not actually on the market. It work, work really well. I tried another one. It didn't work that well for me, but I'm pretty sure there are some solutions for this. What you can do is actually go here to UV editing, go to textures, and you're going to see all the textures here in your scene, right? Now what you can do, technically, resize all of them. The problem is that I do not think that Blender currently has a batch resizing option for these textures, so you would need to do it one by one. But if you don't have many textures, what you can do is click on a texture, right? So you're gonna see the texture here, and then go to image, right? Which is, where is it? Here, and then resize. And you can resize it from whatever you want to whatever you want. So let's say 1K, right? But when you're, for example, resizing trim sheet textures, remember the trim sheets come with, you know, two or three or more textures, so you need to resize all of them for a particular trim sheet. Now, I guarantee you that lots of these textures here are not even used in a scene, okay? So in order to check uh, which textures are actually being used in a scene, what you can do is use something called Purge. So Machine Tools, which is an add-on, it's a free add-on, you can get it on Gamrot and Blender Market. And I have two massive videos showing how to use it. You can actually use the Ctrl S menu to purge it. So if you have Ctrl S menu enabled under Preferences, so if you go to Preferences and you go to Add-ons and you go to Machine Tools, here under the Pi menus, you need to enable Save Pi, okay? So with this, uh, Pi menu enabled when you press Ctrl S, you will see there's gonna be a purge button. Click on that and you should be able to purge some mats. Now, this may not purge everything, uh, so you may gonna wanna go to orphan data here and see if you have anything to purge. And, uh, you know, you, let's just turn this off and you could just purge everything here uh, manually and make sure that nothing is left in here, okay? Alternately, what you can do is click Alt and you know, purge orphans reclusively. So this could also force a bit more deeper purging, okay? This is a really cool way of cleaning your scene and I guarantee you that the VRAM could drop a little bit. Now what it will do, it will remove all the unnecessary textures. So for example, textures you assign to an object and deleted the object, or textures you assign to an object, you change your mind and you change the textures and they kind of load in Blender, but they're not really assigned to, to anything they do not contribute to your scene. 
so you just simply you know get rid of them and remove them and it can drop your you know vram usage you went from 22 point something to 22 so not much yeah but there is a really cool feature in 3.0 plus that is really amazing so if you go to render tab and go to um, here to simplify and you actually enable that now you get some really cool options here first of all what you can do is limit the number of max subdivisions that are actually visible in viewport and during render so if you for example struggling with viewport you could drop them down here to something lower and the same with you know max subdivision here on the render i do not have anything subdivided so this will do nothing for me however what we can do is limit the texture size so if I'm going to limit my textures from 4K and 16K because my environment is 16K to, let's say, 2K, let's wait for the Blender to calculate this and you will see that my VRAM is going to drop dramatically from 22 gigs to something really manageable. Now, if you're going to do that, there you go, 7 gigs. So we dropped uh, 8 gigs, okay? So we dropped how many? 14 gigs, guys. That's a lot, okay? That's nearly 60% or more than that. So now what we could do is drop it a bit lower. But also what you could do is do the same thing for render. So if you're struggling with rendering your scene, even from 3D viewport, which, you know, VM usage now is almost none, you could actually do the same thing for render. Okay, so drop the textures in render to 2K and, uh, you know, you're going to be good to go. So if you're struggling with rendering and, you know, your machine cannot handle something, Remember, first of all, make sure that you're going to purge uh, the textures. You could manually, okay, resize some textures, like for example, the background, you know, the Asian right, whatever you're using um, here through the uh, UV editor, okay? And the third method would be to go here to simplify and uh, simply, you know, force texture resizing for rendering of viewport whichever case is better for you and you know whichever case causing you to crash or just you know the render doesn't go through and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the tip thanks for watching see you in the next video